I have a confession. I did not know that 12 miles off the coast of Los Angeles, near Catalina Island, are all these barrels just sitting on the ocean floor. What is in these barrels, you ask? Scientists tested the sediment that was in these barrels, and they came back positive with very high concentrations of DDT, a pesticide that was banned in the 70s. At first, scientists thought that there were just about 50 barrels or so, but after an extensive ocean mapping led by biology and earth professor David Valentine in conjunction with Scripps Institute of Oceanography, they found more than 25,000 barrels scattered across the seafloor near Catalina Island with a contamination site covering seafloor larger than the size of San Francisco. That number shocked the research team and possibly explained the wildly high occurrence of cancer in sea lions in that area. But what are 25,000 barrels of DDT doing off the coast of LA? Well, first of all, the fact that barrels of DDT exist on the California sea floor is not a secret. What was news to everyone was finding thousands of these high density DDT barrels outside of the documented dumping sites. DDT was widely used from the 40s all the way to the 70s as a pesticide, but it was banned because it was linked to cancer in both animals and humans and also posed an environmental threat to existing ecosystems. Some of these barrels are 70 years old, which means the chemicals aren't breaking down the way scientists back then thought they would. And surprise, surprise, Southern California was the hub for DDT production in the U.S. And the main manufacturer was Montrose Chemical Corporation in Torrance, California. Before DDT was banned, Montrose dumped two thousand barrels a month of chemical waste, including DDT, off the coast of LA. What's even worse is that some employees poked holes into the barrels so that they sink faster. You know what they say, work fast, not safe. The barrels are now disintegrating. And once that process starts, it's hard to contain DDT from seeping into the environment and the marine food web. This will not harm any swimmers or surfers since DDT does not dissolve in water. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for fish or other marine life, which ultimately do make its way up into the human food chain. This points to a bigger issue that our oceans are heavily contaminated, yet largely unmonitored. So if you ever wonder what people mean when they say a forever chemical, you're looking at one right now. For more science we're sharing like this, follow us everywhere at Today I Learned Science at T-I-L Science.